uh, you know, with, with kind of coming off the layoff we had, um, was really concerned. Um, if you would have asked me before the game if we held the two offensive rebounds and only had 14 turnovers, I, I would say we'd have a chance to win the game late. But I was really what I didn't prepare for. It. I didn't think would happen is we allowed to shoot 61%, and that's on me. And we just got to get better defensively. Um, tried to simulate that in practice, but obviously, you know, game speed's a little different, and I thought that uh, that showed. But credit to Iona and uh, Coach Tito. Steve, you talked about being concerned with the first game in 24 days. Is it any harder coming off such a layoff and seeing that team on the other side? You know, I, I, I say this with, you know, how much respect I have for that program. Um, I, I just think it's it's playing a game, you know. Now, now when you're going against the best team in the league, it, it doesn't make it easier, I'll tell you that much. You know, so your game slippage and your margin of error is, is much lower. So um, that didn't help for sure. Um, then you add Ann Nelson, you know, not being there and those type of things. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's 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 one game. We have to bounce back, get ready for Sunday, turn the page. Um, you know, I just said to my guys, you know, listen, we just, we came in off of, I, I thought circumstances probably as hard as they could be for us. And I thought we, we, we competed, we battled, and uh, you know we, we, were, we just didn't do some things to kind of keep it where we wanted it. Um, we'll get better from that and grow and get better. And how, how recently have you come back to full strength? Oh, we haven't. We haven't yet. We, we had Samba out on day-to-day. -day. We have Samir's practice probably three times in the last 13 days. Ant's been out. Um, but listen, that's that's January basketball conference, but you, you can't make excuses or, or that, you know, you, next man up mentality, you're ready to go. Um, we've all been there. We understand what's on the line. Um, you know, we just, we have to, defensively, we, we, I thought we would be better tonight. We weren't. And um, credit to Iona for, for what they did. Jose has gone for 20 plus and four of his last six. He goes for 27 tonight. What's really flipped the switch for him offensively since the end of November? You, you know, at, at the end of the day, I, I, he, he had a, he scored points. Um, he had five assists, but he, I thought he could impact the game even more. Uh, I thought he settled a little bit with some threes that I thought were a little uncharacteristic, and I, and I think that's just conditioning. Um, he'll he'll get back in game shape. He's not there right now, but th I think that's who he is. You know, I, I I think it's absolute disrespect that that young man is not mentioned as one of the mid major players in the country. Uh, eight and three team at the time, and he's not on that mid major watch. That's uh, you know that at the end of the day, people got to really do their job, and, and when they put their name on something, it's got to mean something. But for Ant Nelson or Jose Perez not to be in that conversation, I don't know what I don't know what people are evaluating. I really don't. And one more on, I, on Iona. What's changed for them this season from last year? Not Rick having a full offseason to implement his style. How much better do you feel they are? Yeah, that, that, I mean, you just answered the question. It's Rick Pitino. I know, I know what's going on there. Like, you know, I, I know what those off seasons are like. I know what those preseasons are like. I know what nights are like after a loss. So that's a serious man right there. He's the best to ever do it. And I, I say that about he's the best to ever do it. Any more questions for Coach? Coach, just going against uh, uh, Coach Patino, do you, can you anticipate what he's going to do and, but still not be able to stop it at times? It's frustrating to, to know what he's going to do, know when he's going to do it, and you still can't stop it. Hmm. That, that, and, and, I, and I say this with great humility. I have a little bit of an advantage because I think I know what he's going to do. You know, and I'm not, I'm not saying that I know what he's doing. I just, I've been around him since I was 12 years old. So I have a little bit of an idea of what he's, I think he's going to do. Um, but at the end of the day, he's, he's so meticulous with his execution and his detail. Um, it's really hard to stop what he does. That, that's why he's so good. Um, a lot of people know what's coming. It's just really hard to stop it. Um, but that's why he's a big deal. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.